Now we're going to talk about waveform options on your new TheraTouch device. Keep in mind that there are three types of current used in electrotherapy applications. Pulse current, alternating current, and direct current. Your device, your TheraTouch device that is, has both pulsed and alternating current waveforms. The device also comes with eight waveforms that are industry standard waveforms for electrotherapy. When you also choose the clinical protocol uh, option on your TheraTouch device, it defaults to the most widely accepted evidence-based waveform for that particular indication. Let's take a closer look at the waveform options that I just discussed. When you look at the home menu, obviously you have your three different modalities. With the waveform options available, we're going to select electrotherapy and then we're going to go into the manual operation because this is where you're going to see the eight available waveforms both in pulse current and alternating current. The device was designed as you can see on the screen on the left hand side grouped together all of the pulse current waveforms and on the right hand side are all the alternating current waveforms. Okay, Let's take a quick look at each one and where they really um, tend to play in the realm of electrotherapy treatments. Your biphasic waveforms can be in the form of symmetrical and asymmetrical. Biphasic waveforms are very uh, unique in that it gives you a very um, large uh, swath of treatment options from pain management on one end to muscle re-education, mus muscle strengthening protocols on the other end. So it's very versatile in that regard. When you look at high volt, for example, high volt has been proven to be very effective at increasing localized circulation to the target tissue and also to prevent uh, the formation of edema. When you look at this particular proprietary waveform by Richmar, NMS, which is neuromuscular stimulation, it utilizes a very similar symmetrical biphasic waveform but it has an interphase interval that does allow to really target uh, and motor neurons and mu muscle fibers to create a more comfortable uh, uh, muscle re-education and muscle strengthening approach. Below NMS is microcurrent. This is mainly a subsensory level current that can be used within electrotherapy application. Over on the right hand side, you see the pre-mod interferential. These are the most widely used pain protocol waveforms in physical medicine. And then below that is Russian. Again, another alternating current that's mainly used for muscle strengthening protocols. And then lastly, the Richmar proprietary waveform called RAS, or Rapid Agonist Antagonist Sequencing. Again, this is a triphasic style waveform that is meant to mimic the, the functional movement patterns of muscles to help with your functional rehab exercises.